So somebody said, they, my man, you lie too much. What of those thousands upon thousands that filled stadiums? Many blind people regained sight and crippled work. First of all, there's nothing like a blind person being healed. It has never happened. It will never happen in history. The only people that have successfully treated the blind are medical doctors and now tech people. Elon Musk has built a device. They are waiting for U.S. government FDA approval food and drug agency approval so that it will be approved for commercial use but they now have a machine that you wear like an eyeglass even if you don't have eyeballs they will pierce the back of your brain and connect it to directly to the part of your brain that controls vision usually when people are blind it's the organ that is damaged the part of the brain that is supposed to process vision is still perfectly okay so they bypass the vision since we now have cameras okay they put a camera on your eye and connect it to the back of your brain Elon Musk announced last year that it's now working. Now they want to start selling it to cure blindness permanently. Now in medical science, there are, there are um, surgeries for things like cataracts. They use surgery to treat your blindness. In fact, you know, eyesight, poor eyesight. They now have something called LASIK surgery, L-A-S-I-C. It is even done in Nigeria if you Google it. If you have a terrible eyesight, you go there, you pay. They will operate your eye and fix your eyesight. No more glasses. They can. They will use machine to gauge exactly what your eye vision and ball should be and focus your the light correctly at your retina. And then boom! After the surgery, you will take like a week or two to recover, and you have perfect eyesight. You can even do the surgery in Turkey. They do it uh, in many places. So these are people that with proven track records of millions of people. They have done it. This guy, a YouTuber called Mr. Beast. Paid for the eye surgery of 1,000 blind people. They did surgery and they did 1,000 people regain their sight. It's provable, you can see. Can I ask you a question? Can you tell me the address of one person that is blind that your pastor healed? All you see is some stranger you've never seen from nowhere who just grabbed microphone. I was blind. Now I can see. Some pastors will even add drama. They will say, touch me. Touch me. The pastor will be running. The guy will not be, yeah, pastor, miracle. Do you know the person? You don't know. How many times would they use the same format to keep scamming you? Are you an Olodo? Real, real blindness. Real blindness. The eyeball will not even be there. This eyeball, black eye, it will not be there. It will be out. You see, when the person closes the eyes, it will be inside like this. This is how the real blindness will be. Do you know any really blind person that was cured? The answer is no. There is no really blind person in history that has been miraculously their missing eye was re restored. It doesn't exist. Think about it. Do you know any, somebody you know in your street that has always been blind? One pastor did one crusade and is, that is now fully healed. Stop being scammed, you know. As long as you don't know the person that they healed, you just should know at the back of your mind that there is an uncertainty in the miracle. You don't want uncertainties. If you go to hospital and ask them how many people they have cured, the average doctor that graduated last year has already treated more than 1,000 people. And he can give you lists. Just open hospital records. Name, address, go and verify. P2B. <laughs> go and verify. It's good to pray for people, you know, but just know that those kind of miracles don't work, you know. And it's better we start telling our people the truth. If somebody needs medical care, recommend them to, the med to medical care. You know, some people that are suffering of different diseases because they don't have money. Even this stroke, there's a way you have brain, I think they call it brain aneurysm or something. They will drill your skull and extract the blood. The person re re bounces back. Somebody's president, it won't happen to a president in a certain African country. I think it was in 2011. The person collapsed during a, a campaign. They took him abroad, they drilled his skull, extracted the extra blood that pumped out. The guy is good now, he's running the country now. So most of those things, even I, you see the person's black eye turning white. The person is getting blind gradually. It can be corrected with surgery, but most poor is either they are too poor, they can't afford the surgery, or they don't know. You know, cataract is treatable. It was in the past that it's not treatable. Even some native doctors have some cures for some of these things. Some native doctors have some cures. You know this um, beta cola, the extract, as eye drop, some native doctors will recommend it. You get even even um, castor oil, they will recommend you drop it on top of your eye, not inside though. Drop. Depending, you know, the thing with native doctors is that their their science is not documented. If the person is giving you wrong dosage, <laughs> you will not know. That's the thing with native doctor. You get 
But when you're talking about pastor praying for blind people to heal, it has never happened. If it has happened, give me, give me one concrete example of somebody you know personally. Somebody who can verify when they were blind. You understand? There is a medical report that this guy is blind, cannot see. Optician has tested. And then pastor heals and he comes back to the optician and verify. Now, I, I've said this before about uh, crippled people. Pastors don't cure crippled people. What they cure is people or pray for is people with uh, difficulty in walking. For instance, if somebody had an accident, imagine a footballer that um, shifted their ankle or knee. You know, there's an injury there. The, the, body is, the, 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 the body heals itself. You know, when there's an, even if, it's, even if your, your bones broke in 30 places, once it's packaged and arranged well, your body will gradually heal itself over some months. These are the kind of victims that the pastors look for. Because they know that they can pray for you in January. By January next year, you are now walking. They will bring you and do the video. People watching before and after will think it happened immediately. You know, real crippled person, even some, um, what do you call it, arthritis. Some people with arthritis, their knees are paining them, but they can walk. If there's fire in the house, they can stand up and run. The only thing is that when they're walking, they're feeling unbearable pain in their knee. These are the people that pastors like to pray for. Because they know that once they tell the person, stand up, the person can stand up and do a few steps. They will video it and take out the camera. They will give you back your walking stick. <laughs> Fake miracle. You get what I'm saying? If you are really crippled, have you seen the people, the beggars on the street that have polio? Their leg is twisted. It's crippled and it's tiny. The hand will be normal size, but the leg will be tiny. You know, those real crippled people, or legless people, amputees, people they cut off one of their hand or one of their leg. What pastors do is they give them money, give them bags of rice, video them and put on their YouTube channel so that the world will see them as philanthropists. They don't pray for such people. You know, amputees wear no get. Amputees wear no get hand. Hand stop here. Pastors don't pray for them for miracle because they know that it's obvious the miracle will not work. Have you ever seen where an amputee is healed? You know, missing hand or missing finger or missing uh, arm. Regenerate, you know, it doesn't work. <laughs> Those ones is for uh, goodwill that they give them, well wishes. You know, the ones that have bandage on their legs, whether you don't even know whether the person is even sick at all. Those are the ones they pray. The person will now stand up, they remove the bandage. Hey, I'm healed, I'm healed. <laughs> Open your eye, get common sense. This calm has to stop now, it's too much. It's too much. Many people are dying because they are confused. They, they, they are made to believe that they have been treated. So they go home and stop taking their medications and then they die faster.